To the spin attack, press and hold B to charge your weapon with magic. When you release B, your sword will unleash a whirlwind of energy as you spin around. To stir up energy quickly without having to charge your weapon, rotate that once and press that. Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. So anyways, uh, taking out Mr. Swordy. Let's, uh, get out here and take out Mr. Swordy. You can charge the blue one. You can charge nothing. Okay, actually that one charged. But you can charge the orange one. But that's kind of impractical, so what you can do is just spam it with this. And that does the same damage, that does, that does double damage like the jump slash. So it is very useful, because it's a spamming attack that's stronger than your normal attack. So I do not need the mask anymore, and I'm going to be heading back to Clock Town. So, going, going through with that. And we can go over to Clock Town. And the wings sprout out of his ass, and he goes on to who knows where. Clock Town as he vanishes out of existence. Again. This kid. This one brave kid. Not gonna lie. I hope I'm- I hope I remember the proper time for this. So, some bastard should be- yep, there he is. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Well, I can take your word for it then, I don't need to be here. If you, if you take down all of those at the same time, uh, actually that kind of proved me wrong. But if you take them all out, relatively quickly, you get a red rupee, which is actually really helpful. I can't remember what time this is supposed to go down at. So, uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. You know what, I'm gonna slow down time again. No, should I? You know what? Actually, I didn't want to do that. What I'm going to do is simply cut to when shit goes down. That's the best way I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna have to cut the video to when shit goes down. Hey, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Let's see what we got to say. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? I want to see what's in the bag. What's in your bag? Come on, show me. I want to see what's in your bag. Come on. Come on. Why are you just walking away like that? Why? Come on. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Look at me. What's going on? That guy runs like an asshole. Oh shit, he's a thief! I totally didn't see that coming. Yes, this guy's a thief. What you gotta do is cut him with your sword. Uh, an interesting to note is that, uh... Well, actually, I can't do anything right now. He's just gonna run around like a douchebag. You can't do anything about him now. But while he has the bag, if you shoot him with an arrow, he'll actually explode and die. Which is... Awesome, I'm not gonna lie, it's just like crazy awesome. Thank you, since you didn't make off with them, I can finally stock bomb bags. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you can throw on your own fi festival fireworks show. This lady is awesome. We can now explode our face. I'm gonna, I, which I will now demonstrate. So you go into your uh, inventory over here, uh, and here we have the blast mask. Take the blast mask on, you got a blast, you got a skull on your face. Skull on your face, press B, and you explode your face. You take damage, but it's worth it when you can explode your face. Now I gotta go back to the time. So play the song inverted time. There's also a way to not get hurt when using the blast mask. Which makes it very useful if you don't have bombs, which we don't. You press the shield, you explode your face, but the shield takes the damage somehow. So, back to uh, what we were doing before. Yeah. You gotta fly all the way back to Woodfall and do the temple thing. Which is great. Because it's progress. I think I made... Oh, fuck, I was supposed to do something. Oh well, I'll do it later. Hopefully it doesn't become daytime. Besides, I can do it on the second day anyways. There's one more thing I wanted to do. Oh shit, I forgot I had the mask on. Yes, very responsible old lady indeed. She <laughs> totally forgot about that. Not to self. Watch myself. Yes, I need to watch myself. I might do something stupid like blow up my face again. Like the third time in the past two, three minutes. It's not good for you blowing up your face. I don't recommend it. Not even to my worst enemy. If I had a worst enemy. Well, the closest thing I have to a worst enemy is my cousin. He's kind of a douchebag. I'm not gonna say anything else about him. 
place is okay. Anyways, we gotta move back to the place with the thing where the fire was and we got the last great berries. Because my descriptions are the greatest thing you've ever heard. Look at that flip. You see that flip? That's a flip. Because he can flip in this game. Also, I made note that you run faster going backwards, didn't I? I think I did. You run faster going backwards just in case. So go over here and go over here. Guy deal some dragonflies. And I'm running out of arrows. That is not a good thing. That is not a good thing. You have arrows? I want arrows. You had arrows. So anyways, go over here. You shoot these bastards. It's easier to aim. I really think you only need to shoot the one. Well, you don't have to shoot any of them, but it's useful. Anyway, you shoot this thing. And the fire goes away because everything is in li linked in some sort of a magical way. I'm starting to think that's why they named him Link. Whatever. So you go over here, and you get onto this flower. You wouldn't be able to get on this flower through this fire because you can't go on a flower and fire. What are you, crazy? You go over here. I think one of these might have uh, another fairy because pots tend to next to bosses tend to have fairies. Although you might want to just prove me wrong. You just prove me wrong. I don't know what's going on. So you take this mask off, go over here, and you get ambushed by some sort of creepy force deity guy. Uh, who may be a racial stereotype. Not entirely sure. Needless to say, he's got a really big sword and I think he's buck naked. No, he's got some underwear on. Good for you, buddy. So you shoot him. You try, oh, you try to shoot him. You, get, you, gotta get you gotta get close and try to shoot him and stuff. And then spam the spin attack because it is the best attack you got. Where'd he go? Yeah, I want to shoot you. No, you don't run away from me, I'm going to shoot you. Just keep spamming the spin attack on bosses because it's very useful. You can, I know you can do this. There we go. Wow, you got, you're great. You're great at this, buddy. Look at his camera angle. I, I don't know if he can actually like hit you or something. And then he's going to start jumping around like an asshole. That's a good thing. I don't know what it is. Oh, right. He's calling down the butterflies. He's calling down. No, wait. He's calling down the scarab things. It's a good thing to note that bombs and bomb type items are useful here. Oh, he hit me. So I'm gonna just, like, get rid of those guys. And now! Now come. Wow. I think he tried to. Oh, wow. Oh god, I don't I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this. No! Not the butterflies! Anything but the butterflies! I hate the butterflies! So yeah. That was my worst encounter with them ever. And look at him floating because his foot is on a flower. So uh we're getting close to the end, but there's still quite a bit of text and talking and cutscenes and there's a lot of flowers there. You got a heart container! Your maximum life energy be increased by one! We now have five hearts, look at that, it matches up with our magic meter. And oh yeah, there are bombs right there. You see over in the distance. You see it's old Dolwa's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit in this dark man who said kept in prison within the body of the evil old Dalba. Old Dalwa. I can't fucking pronounce that shit. And they've exploded into light. Now here comes the acid trip. A very, very bad acid trip is what this is. Look at all of it, everything's so wavy because they keep using the after image effect. And there's something off in the distance behind that pillar of whatever the fuck that is. What's that? Yes, what is that? I'm not talking about what's behind the pillar, I'm talking about the pillar itself. That guy's one had got one hell of a beard. I'll give him that. I don't even mind the pillar now. And he's, like, screaming like a bitch. What is this? Wait, listen, it seems to be saying something. It seems to be screaming. Is that crying needs way of teaching us some sort of melody? How the hell do you figure that out? Don't just stand there, get your instrument. Do you have, like, a bell hidden within your, like, glowy yellow body? What time is it? Oh, time's got time. Right down, A down, right up. I'm the greatest singer in the world, don't you forget that. 
So yes, we got a new song. A new song that will only be used once in the entire game. And it only has one purpose. That's kind of the most important one, so I'm not gonna knock on it. More than I already have. But it's so much later on in the game that I couldn't figure I, I had no idea what I was doing the first time. I was like, what do you do here? And then turns out you gotta play that fucking song. It was like, how the hell was I supposed to figure that shit out? You learn the oath to order. Or, eh. or, oath to order. Why can't I say that? Is this a song too? It's just as likely as the song too. Look at those bubbles. Call us. That's what it said. How the hell do you understand that shit? I gotta get rid of my fairy. Too bad. We have temporarily saved the la swamp. So why the hell should we care if this is swamp that gets saved? We've temporarily saved the swamp. And somehow, cleaning the water terraforms the land. But alright, I'm not gonna question it. First thing, long ago I learned that the first rule of video games is don't question this shit. No matter what it might be. The four people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Oh hey, you're pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? I don't know, maybe. Stupid fairy. No, just keep that pace up. We can save the other three. Hey! Um... I think they're just reusing the same animation here. All that stuff I did to you, your horse, I, I apologize. Sorry. So there, I apologize, so don't hold it against me, got it? Now then, we helped the princess just like the monkey ass. So now our next stop is the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kid. He's a skull kid. I wonder how long is this taking me. I haven't checked the time in a while. So I'm gonna get old yield and bottle out, because you know, never know, you might need it. So you get yield and bottle out. Get rid of the fairy because it's no use to me at all. It might have been, but I solved that problem with my own badassery. What? Who are you? Took you a while to say that. Link, pleased to meet you. I am the Deku Princess. Deku Princess, whatever. Where are you by chance? Asked by that monkey to come save me. Aha! Just as I suspected, you see, your body smells a little bit like monkey. So the monkey made it back fine. That's after all. That's good. What? Come on. What's with, the, what's with the silence? I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think the monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would go so far to punish the poor monkey. Hoo hoo hoo. It's ho ho ho, you dumb bitch. Don't tell me. Are you serious? Question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. This is his father actually doing that? Question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. I'm done with that. Yet another hasty decision. Father! Well, well, we haven't lost any time, we haven't any time to lose. Quickly, Mr. Link, could you please assign something to carry me, what you read, so you can take me to the palace? You, oh, I'm gonna put you in this bottle, because you'll totally fit, and it totally makes sense. And I'm not gonna question it. And her shadow is still there. You put the Deku Princess in a bottle. It's a tight fit, but she says it'll be fine. I don't even understand. Your shadow is still there. Wow, I never noticed that. It's odd what you notice when you're trying to notice stuff. So yeah, go backwards, you can move faster. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I've got like three and a half hours before daytime. And what I need, what I was planning on doing needed to be nighttime. So go over here, take the mask back on, go over here, and you got some you got some lily pads over here. And once again, the sound difference between the recording and what's on my TV is really setting me off. And go over here. Was I caught last time? Yes, I was. I told you not to enter any areas other than the royal chamber. It is a very rare occasion that you are allowed to enter, so do as I say! Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber, do not enter any other areas whatsoever! Fuck you, buddy, I'm gonna go right here. Oh, what are you gonna do? I'm in your royal cha- I'm in, not in the royal chamber. What are you gonna do about that? Not a damn thing, but you're lucky I have something to do over here. And I just wasted one little- By the way, this pot, I don't think it's in the first file when you come here. I don't remember seeing the pot in the first file. So you go over here, you drop the little princess girl, and the monkey's almost dead. But that's fine, because he's a monkey, who cares about him? Oh, my princess, my darling princess, you are alright, I am so worried. 
Huff, huff, huh. Something father, I don't listen. I was trying to read what she said before. That's, uh, quite a way to go about, uh, reprimanding your father there. Jump in on his lower torso. What are you doing? Let that monkey go this instant. That guy has squinty eyes. And I don't know what the butler's doing over there, but... When, uh, this place is very dirty. It's very dirty indeed. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I'm truly sorry, but the just does rash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about it. Has the temple been returned to normal? That is one smart. That is one like forgiving monkey. Why, well, yes, here. Thanks to Mr. Link here, I'm very truly grateful. Really? So you're called Link, are you? Thank you for keeping your promise to me. And he bows his head. I don't know how you're talking to a monkey. As a symbol of our gratitude, our butler has prepared a little something. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine that to be to your right when you leave the palace. Alrighty then. Let's get that mask that I never use. And by the way, I already know it's a mask. I've played the game before. My cell is beginning all the maps. I'm not going to use it, but I still need it because of the whole I need it for the getting all the masks thing. I know my statements have become rather redundant, but redundancy is not necessarily a bad thing. It helps get points across. Even though if there, even if there may not be any point to begin with. I'm just rambling, and I'm going to keep doing that. You gotta, you gotta go past the lily pads. Go across the lily pads. Oh my god, I might not make it. But yeah, you go across the lily pads. I don't know if I've mentioned that you have to go across the lily pads. Did I mention it? One more time, you gotta go across the lily pads. We got a butler over here. He has a very nice mustache, I must say. I mean, that's a clown here. Link, well, I'm truly thankful for what you've done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we definitely have prepared something for you We think may that we think may assist you. I'll lead you to it. It'll kind of assist me, kind of not. So you go over here and you follow this butler, and it's, uh, I kind of don't have a whole lot to say. But he's saying we must follow him, and he's moving, like, way too fast. Like, I can barely keep up with him. Just barely. And I even know where he's going. And there are dead ends here, too. Now, you don't necessarily have to keep up with him, but it kind of helps. I don't think there's anything that would, like, close if you're not fast enough. Oh, oh stop itching, I... This is hard enough as it is. I don't know how you're supposed to get over there. But anyways, you gotta jump. I don't think he. I don't think he cares that uh, he just transformed into another species. Because you know what the fuck? In Zelda world, anything can happen. Also, uh, I think he has like a rubber band AI. The further he gets, the slower, slower he goes. I, that's just something I noticed. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. But it's just something I noticed and I wanted to make point of it. Oh god, I'm not gonna make it. See? And as soon as you get, uh, as soon as you get really close to him, he just gets, like, this sudden boost of speed. He's like, he's supposed- oh god, I- oh, for a second I thought I lost him. So, uh, yeah, I'm following this guy, if you haven't noticed. If you're just tuning in. Oh god, there's fire here. So, uh, you do not want to be Deku Link when there's fire nearby, because it- it leads to an instant fainting spell, which kind of really sucks. So, uh, back to the Deku. Sometimes it's better to be Deku, sometimes it's better to be regular. And I don't understand the purpose of these stairs. They're very stupidly designed stairs. Oh, and yeah, there's boulders. You know, if you, th if you, if you thought it was hard before, now there are boulders. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Oh god, I think I lost them. Oh crap! That's not good. Not good. I think he's going this way. Oh, great. Oh, fan. Oh, wait, there we go. See, rubber band AI. He slows down when you get too far away. So you gotta take this out. I told you, rubber band AI. And he does this stuff part like really slow, as if they expect you to be failing. Or at least that's what I've noticed. And a lot of this is like, or so I've told, or what I've noticed, because I don't want to be corrected by some douchebag. Saying, you said this, and I don't even care. So, yes. We gotta continue to follow this guy, and oh my god, we made it, and I did not have any blank commentary errors. I am so goddamn proud of myself. Yes, I must talk to you. Well done, Link. Now, here's the item I promised. Please accept it. You got the mask of sense. This mask heightens your sense of smell. Wear it with C to sharpen your olfactory perception. Snips it. That's the smell of power. I wonder if that's alluding to Ganondorf. Actually, when I see you, I'm reminded of my son who left home long ago. Somehow I feel as though I'm once again racing with my son. 
I'm afraid I may have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I am still a fast competitor, just like when I raced with my son. Please forgive my rudeness. You don't think that tree has something to do with his son, right? That tree we saw in the beginning before Clock Town? Yeah, no, this, there's no way this would be that dark. And my hat is sticking through my crotch. Because I have to notice these things. And I still got time to do that last thing. So you go over here, back to Clock Town. Because I have no reason to be here anymore. Actually, I do have one reason, but I will do that later. So go, go to Clock Town, and I just knocked around my microphone. That's going to probably show up on the recording, goddammit. So yes, with the soaring and the disappearing and the dead, she should probably be dead. So we go over here. Once again, you know, you know I have a glass mask, but uh, that's kind of irrelevant. Because we have something to do over here with another mask, and he won't let me through as a Deku shrub, but he'll let me through as a... As, no! As a... Kid, as a kid, because... I am, like, losing my train of thought. I sincerely hope I do not even send- Nope! There he is! Right there, I see him. This guy shows up on the first and second day after midnight. And only- Oh, what's well, first and second night after midnight. And, uh, only after- Ooh. And if- after, uh, during- uh, in the morning he disappears. I am no longer part of this living. Set my sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Translation. I am disappointed. Oh moon, I have died. Oh, I planned to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had someone to top my new dance with someone. So, uh, I think you gotta do this. Wrong song. I, t I told you that oppositely. I, ki I kind of forget these things. Especially when I don't get instant feedback on what button I'm pressing. So, he's gonna keep dancing. Because apparently that's the right. That's what you're supposed to do. It's just a way of life. Ooh. Spread my dance across the world, train yeah. its followers. I have taught it to you, now make it into a popular dance craze. This guy has like, freaking super squinty eyes. Like seriously, they're like, I don't even know, man. Something about a dance. Ooh. I am counting yeah. on you, translation. I am counting on you. Gee, thank, thank, thank Jeebus for that translation. I never would have figured out what he would have said without it. So, uh, yeah, we're supposed to go up there next, but uh, I'm gonna put that off for a little bit. Just a tad, not too long. I'll probably get uh, going there in the next part. Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do in the next part. I'm gonna get heading over there and stuff. But first, I've got to make a dance craze. By the way, this helps you find mushrooms that are used for a certain potion. I'll get to that later. And it's also part of an Easter egg that people are talking about. And no one seems to care that I don't that I'm wearing this creepy ass mask, and I can now dance with the bee bunny. These uh, the happy masks have specific abilities that help in certain times. Certain some abilities actually do stuff; others are just to engage in conversation. Conversation. So anyways, you talk to these girls. Actually, you dance for these girls because that's what you're supposed to do when you just see two random girls. Random, you dance like a freaking fruit. You see two random girls in the street dance like a freaking fruit and you become their master. So, uh, they're gonna dance. And we got, uh, someone's gonna show up here in a bit. We got, uh, some dancing going. There's a guard over there. Mr. Creeper Guard, just staring at us. Probably has some, probably has something in his pants that he doesn't want anyone to know about. Thank you for teaching us those steps. You are our master. We now got a new heart piece. You got a piece of heart. You collected two parts of heart. Collect two more to extend your life energy. Master, you're so cool. And he's like patting the back of his neck for some reason. And that is the end of that. First day. Quite a few videos. We got some stuff done. And I will see you guys later.